Yes, hello. Welcome back to another video from Smallax Music Productions. Today I just want to show you a simple trick, um, two ways of dealing with uh, unwanted noise. Um, this way if you want to filter out noise and as you can see on screen I have two plugins up. I have my um, gate plugin here and I have this plugin called Strip Silence. Um, you can use both of these and get good results. They work um, differently but similar result. Um, so I have, um, if you know, when I was mixing this, um, make, um, making or arranging this track, I dropped some guitar samples from my guitar pack, right? And you guys know where to get that pack. Um, it's from the Preax pack on the website tropicalsamples.com. All right, so I add the uh, um, guitar samples, but in the process of adding it, I added some wet and some dry. So whenever I process and EQ the guitar, it's a bit the plate and delay and the, the, the samples are, were too excessive and it's not um, aligned with the dry samples. So the best way to deal with this is to get rid of the delays and, and reverb from the sample. And this is how I, I would approach it. All right, this is two ways you can use to deal with it. And sometimes one will work, sometimes the other will not. Sometimes both works based on what you're dealing with. All right, so I have this track here. Let me just play a bit of it. As you can hear, you can hear the plate inside of inside of the plug-in there, and. Um, So you can hear from these these guys here. See that the reverb get it's oh way overwhelming. Then it goes back dry. And it goes back dry as you can notice. So I'm just playing a bit of this so this so you guys can see the problem what we are dealing with. Let me go dry. Um let me go dry on this this um track so you guys can really hear what's going on. Let me just mute this um plugin. All right, so this is what we are dealing with. Look, All right from dry to wet, dry to wet. That's what we are dealing with. So that's where the problem lies. All right, so. In order to do this, I pull this plugin up called Strip Silence, and you can see clearly what it's doing on screen. It's basically stripping down only the sample. Um, what when you, when you're hearing something on the track, that's what it's um, really stripping down. The 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 it's stripping down the transients, but it's not accurate in taking out the reverb as you can hear. Let me just highlight here so you guys can see. Listen. So it's not working for these here with the reverb. So in this case, um, it's not picking up those transients to, to kill it out or cut it out. So. In this case, this is not the right plugin. We can alter the plugin to do um, different things like to zoom in on the transients and so on, all right? And still, it's not affecting the troubled areas, all right? So this plugin is not the way to go in this case. In, in other 
tracks it would do the job completely but not in this case the reverb is here and it's just not working so you can but this is a very good plugin you can use it on other tracks and in different instances all right so that didn't work so pull up the whole bad boy plate here and um let's just play a bit of the track with the plate all right and here we are we are having the reverb still so let's go again and start pulling the gate on this plugin let's go again let's put this guy on loop and loop here all right there you go simple and easy way to work and you can it's base you can use this if you know how to use the plate already I, if you don't know how to use the plate um go in my channel like i showed you in a video earlier how to search a channel for different contents you can search my channel and you'll see videos with gate plugins all right so you can go ahead and check those and learn how to use the gate all right our other videos all right so so it's still there put some more gate <laughs> still there like a slap back effect All right, so we have to go extreme with the gate to get it all out. And then we have a good, clean, dry guitar there. All right, so now it's, I added this on the track here, but I really don't want to have it on the, the track all of the uh, on the track because and because my cpu power will go down after a while so let me just show you what i would normally do in this case to save cpu power i would go in audio suite i would go in dynamics and i would find my gate where is my gate okay my gate is here and i'm using a stereo track so definitely i'll select the stereo version of this all right once i select my stereo version once i select my stereo version i would go in and i would copy this setting here so i will copy the setting and i would paste it into this version this copy here paste so we have this uh, we have the same setting here and i will go ahead and render it all right so now I can bypass this plugin and we will get the same process. All right. So let's go right ahead and um, do this. All right. So you see the, the track is clean now from the reverb that was really hindering us to wet the track. Because when I wet the track with delays and reverb, um, that part becomes overwhelming all right and i would have to it, I, you would tend to push it too much and then it, it's overlapping so just get rid of the reverb and you can do this not only on a guitar track but any other track that you wish to all right see see the plugin is gone off the track and we are still having that effect and we could check all this, the sections all right and the guitar is there so now we can just put back our plugin effect here all right we're just having that um, delay all right so now i can go back in go pull up my mixing window here and i can add the riff the reverb 
and go ahead and wet it accordingly. And all of the track will have that nice um, um, reverb and all the, 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 the transients, all right? Instead of having this part very wet and this part subtle, you know, all of it has the same complexion right now, all right? If I can say that. All right, so this is a nice and easy way to deal with samples. Sometimes you get a sample and it has a long decay with reverb on it. But you like that sample. You can't find a dry one with that um, sample, um, whatever sample you're using. So what you can do is use a gate to gate out the reverb and have it manipulate that that sample so that sample is 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 dry or maybe have a shorter tail however you want to do it all right so this is a very nice way to use gate i know some people use gate mostly when it comes to drums and all of that i don't don't use gate in that instant only i use it in a lot of different instances all right um i use it live <laughs> because um i record drums live in, and live gigs and so forth when i'm doing engineering out of outside of the studio i use it on the mixer and however to get to get out a lot of the noise background noise and and um sometimes you know thumbs out of snare and etc whatever and drums so it's mostly used on drums but you can use it even and and voiceovers etc to get rid of background noise and all of that so gate is a very very important plugin right so guys start pulling for your gate and use the gate uh, in different um, ways and so on all right i know you some of you guys use it to do side chaining as well as it has the side chain um trigger on it as well <laughs> all right so hope you guys learned something from this and do like myself if you like the video and you learn and enjoy something don't just watch the video and scroll to something else after finish show some appreciation and give us feedback in the comment section that you enjoy and learn something so hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified with new contents all right so this is for today hope you guys enjoy and learn something i'm out of here